Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. I am your host, Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, and I am here with you every Saturday at 10 a.m., bringing you podcasting pointers that will help you to expand your brand online by simply using your voice. You can reach out to me by sending an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com and you can find and follow me on all my social media platforms by simply using the link tree ID A Blake Enterprises. Again, welcome to the Delaware Blogger Podcast and make sure you share this episode and any other episode that you found to be of interest with your family, your friends, your bae, and your boo too. And until the next time, see ya, it's the D.E. Diva. Hello, hello. I hope you had a wonderful International Podcast Day yesterday. That's right. September 30th is International Podcast Day. And I had an opportunity to upload the 10, the top 10 podcasts of both of my shows, the Out and About with Antoinette, which is every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And then, of course, the Delaware Blogger Podcast every Saturday at 10 10. So check it out, dellblogger.com, and let me know which one was your favorite episode. Today's episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast is being sponsored by Biz of EEO. From EEO contracts to careers and everything in between, they are your entrepreneur and career experts. You can reach out to them today by calling 202 434-4544 or send an email to information at preempcorp.com. Again, you can call them at 202-434-4544 or send an email to information at preempcorp.com. Now today, you know, I always talk about sharing is caring. So today I'm sharing some information, not only from the NYC Podcast Network, but some other sites that I found because, you know, even though I'm a vet, I still get confused about certain things. And one of those things is podcast download, right? Is in a download you know, why is it such a big deal? You want to know, do they matter? Does a podcast download matter? Yes, it does. Just like last week, I talked about the length of a show. And if you didn't hear that one, make sure you take a listen. I want to talk about podcast downloads. Do they matter? First of all, let's define exactly what a download is. Now, according to the New York City or NYC Podcast Network, a download is the direct link to your MP3 or your WAV file, that audio file. It's any sound file of your episodes that are published as an MP3 or WAV and people are listening to them. They're downloading them. Whether your host is Anchor or Buzzsprout, like I have Buzzsprout, or Podbean or Lisbon, there's a whole bunch of other hosts out there. But each one of your podcast hosting platforms includes a direct link to each of your sound files. So within your RSS, your real, you know, simple syndication, there's an MP file that is created with each episode. And it's important to note, let me tell you, not all hosting platforms record your download traffic the same way. So make sure that you check out how they're collecting data and presenting it with or to you because it can be kind of confusing or frustrating when you're not seeing the numbers that you think you're seeing and people are telling you that they listen to your podcast. And in full disclosure, there's always going to be some debate on each of these directories on how they determine a download versus a listen. But make sure that you check it out because This is what's going to keep you going. You want to make sure that people are listening to your podcast, that they're downloading or listening to them. And for us, it's, it's, it's hard, right? It's really frustrating, but 
we need to know. We need to know because if we're thinking about monetizing our podcast, the sponsors or the advertisers are going to want to know those numbers. So let's talk about podcast downloads. Do podcast downloads matter? Yes, they do. Because it means you have an active audience that's listening to your shows. And this is going to be motivation for you to continue. It's also going to help you to attract advertisers and sponsors. And you know, long-term monetization, you're going to be looking to do that. You want to make sure that you have an audience that you are connecting with. Again, Downloads are different than listens or plays. Make sure that your directory is showing you both or one and the other. A person can stream an episode. They don't have to even download it. Um, but it's not may only count towards a listen and not your uh, download calculation. So remember, check them. Check both numbers, listeners and downloads. And that way, that'll give you a better idea a more realistic idea of how you are performing. And when you're ready to pitch to your sponsors and advertisers, you'll have this good number. So yes, downloads do matter. And let's talk about, you know, how do we get more downloads? How do we increase the downloads? Well, I'm going to give you maybe what, four or five tips. The first one is publish more episodes. Duh, right? This may seem obvious, right? But the simple way to get more downloads is to pu publish more content. More content, more episodes means you have more downloads and a chance to get more subscribers. What episode is this? This is episode 310. Now, remember, when I first started, I started on Anchor FM and I was simply just talking into my phone about, you know, whatever was going on, but I'm never going to get rid of any of those episodes. And that's going to still be considered episode one, two, three, on and on. And now we're up to episode number 310. That's right. Season eight. Wow. I'm, lo I'm loving this. So make sure you publish more content. Publishing more has great benefits because each time you publish an episode, it's an opportunity for you not, not to only engage with your current fans, but to attract new listeners as well. And when you're sharing new content and they're sharing new content, that increases your SEO, your search engine optimization. This is a big value. That's, that's giving you the bang for your buck. So make sure that you're sharing, you're creating content. So publishing more episodes is just one way to increase your download numbers. A second way is to ask for feedback, right? Ask people, ask your quote and unquote super listeners, the ones that are so engaged. They're the ones that are commenting on your post, replying to your emails, and even recommending your show to their friends. So if you're in a podcast group or a podcast community, you know, ask them, hey, what did you think about my show this week? Ask them for their thoughts. Tell them, you know, be honest so that you know if you're doing what you should be doing when it comes to your content. So that's the second one. Ask for, you know, ask for feedback. Number three, be a teaser, but a pleaser. Yep. <laughs> Build some hype on your future episodes by teasing them, right? If you've got a special guest, a big name guest, make sure you are sharing that before the episode even drops, right? Create some graphics, you know, go on TikTok, um, do some great stuff saying, you know, coming soon. What I normally do, you probably know what I do. Tuesdays are the days that I record my interviews for Out and About with Antoinette, right? So after I finish recording on Zoom, I do a screenshot picture image, and then I create a graphic coming soon, just interviewed so-and-so just to make it a teaser. So that's another way to, you know, increase your downloads because people may say, oh, well, let me check out her podcast before this show drops. So that's going to increase it. So publishing more episodes, you know, asking for feedback, and of course, teasing and pleasing your listeners. Number four, going back to asking for feedback. When you're asking for feedback, ask for reviews and ratings too. This should be your most important CTA, your most important call to action. Ask your listeners to rate and review your podcast because that helps. 
five stars, obviously, but ask them to go out there and rate your show. Number five. Now, do you embed your podcast into your website or to your blog? Well, if you do, it's suggested that you use the autoplay. That's when the, the record, the recorder, listen to me. That's when the player begins to play as soon as someone lands on that page. So if they land on your blog or in your vlog or your YouTube channel, that podcast, that audio starts to play right away. And guess what? That is considered a download. Yep. So set your embedded player to auto play. Number six. Commit to the bit. You remember I talked about that? That's right. Commit to the bit. Create a schedule and stick to it. I know life happens, you know, but if I'm promising you an episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast every Saturday at 10, then I'm going to have a new episode every Saturday at 10. Now, let me be honest with you. I'm going to skip one or two, but I'm going to let you know. You can, you know, rearrange your day, but stick to the bit because once you start having that intimate relationship that we've talked about before with your listeners, they're going to come to want to see, I'm sorry, they're going to want to come to hear new episodes and you want to be there. You don't want to disappoint them. And if you can't keep up with your publishing schedule, like I said, life happens, then cut back and let your listeners know that you're no longer doing weekly shows. You're going to be doing bi-weekly shows. Or if you find that Saturday at 10 is not good and you want to do it at seven o'clock on a Sunday, that's fine. Just let your listeners know. So make sure that you do commit to the bit and stick to it. Number seven, submit your podcast RS feed, RSS feed to the directories. Make sure, yes, you want to be able to be found in iTunes and Google Play and Spotify. Those are the most popular ones. But iHeartRadio and Amazon Audible, there are a lot of other low, no name, you know, directories, but you want to have your show there because if people are just starting out or stumble across it, you want to have your podcast there. So make sure that you are submitting your show's RSS feed to every directory out there. And no, it does not cost a dime. Do not pay to be on a podcast directory. And people will do that, but I'm going to tell you, nope, 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 nope. And the last one I want to tell you about is perhaps you need to just consult a coach, right? That's what I do. I have a five week coaching session because you can't do it all yourself. You don't have to know it all yourself, especially if you're just starting out. So sign up, work with someone that's going to help you, you know, with your title, your topics, your publishing schedule, with your content, with your cover art, with your monetization. And that's what I do. Check it out. If you want to um, sign up for my five-week coaching course, send an email to me at info at a Blake Enterprises, and I will definitely help you. I also have, remember that seven step checklist. It's a downloadable, it's available to you free. So again, send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com. So I hope that these few tips will help you, you know, when it comes to your downloads. Remember, those numbers do count and you want to make sure that you are, you know, you're getting out the content and then people are listening. So enjoy the rest of this beautifully blessed day and I'll see you when I see you, but I won't because you'll be hearing me next Saturday at 10 a.m. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast because every week I am bringing you podcasting pointers that will help you to broaden your brand and expand your exposure online by simply using your voice. And if you'd like to be a sponsor for the show or you have suggestions, please send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com. You can find and follow me on all my social media platforms by simply using the Linktree ID, A. Blake Enterprises. Check out my other podcast, Out and About with Antoinette, every Wednesday at 1, where I'm interviewing some amazing people from in and around the state of Delaware. So until the next time, make sure that you share this podcast with your family, your friends, your bae, and your boo too. And I'll see you when I see you. See ya, it's the D.E. Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger.